Welcome to Quality Control. Today we're taking a ride on the bacon bacon train. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to Quality Control. Today we're taking a ride on the bacon bacon train. This episode was a viewer request. Thank you, Leonard. Today we are trying Life Light, Morning Star Farms, Sweet Earth, and a rice paper recipe from the veggieedge.com. Shall we get started with a light life Let's bacon? It does not look too appealing, but we gotta start somewhere. It reminds me of bologna. Yeah, it's a real single. Plain look flavor. at it. Look at it. Definitely doesn't taste like pork belly. What does it taste like? Not pickle. Not bologna. It doesn't even taste like soy beans. Mm -mm. What Maybe. else we got? All right, move on. Morningstar Farms. Taking the marbled edge this time. A little bit like bacon. Got a better smell to it, too. It still doesn't smell like bacon. I don't think there's any way to replicate a real pork belly. It's a definite pickle to figure out. Mm. Mm. It has a different flavor. Definitely not bacon. It's better than the first one. Much better. It's not bacon. It's not bacon, but it is it's not a vegetable either. It's like dog food. It's like a bacon strip. May have happened once in my history of life. Next we have sweet earth. Ooh. So sweet earth doesn't really claim to be bacon. They said they're a benevolent bacon. This is more of a hickory and sage flavoring. So some kind of redirect your palate. Is that hickory? I mean, once you kind of remove the bacon idea flavor, it does leave you in a whole different direction. But it's still not bacon, and it's still not... The texture is off. It still tastes like a like a mishmash of chemicals and funky. But it does have, I don't know, it's kind of nice to take you away from the bacon idea. It's like, hey, try and figure out hickory and sage in this mess. And then last we have a little concoction we put together from the Veggie Edge. Rice paper. And a marinade. You just dip it in the marinade. Then you bake it in the oven, 400 degrees. Seven to eight minutes. Although I think we did go a little long. If you want a little crispy, you could go a little longer. I do think we need, might need to uh, work on that marinade just a scotch. Mine's a little salty. How's yours? A little bit salty. A little salty. But is that not what bacon is? Not this side. I have some soy sauce kind of salty too, so it leaves you in that kind of teriyaki. That might be fun on a pineapple burger. Mm. If you're doing a BLT, that is salty. If you're doing a BLT though, which bacon would you be most Are we talking a real eager to use? A veggie BLT? Yeah. Let's go full hog. Let's full anti-hog. If you're doing a veggie BLT with a vegan patty, a vegan bacon, a vegan cheese, you might have to look into that later too. Which bacon would you use on a vegan BLT? Right now, I'd go with the sweet earth. This is too salty for me. Yep. The sweet earth definitely needs something else. I'd want it a little more crispy. But because of the crispiness, I kind of look at Morningstar. Light Life can go home. Yeah. But it is unique. 
Light Life started back in 1979, and they were originally named Tempa Works. And they changed their name to Light Life in 1984, and they launched Smart Dogs in 1993, and it was the number one best-selling plant-based hot dog. Speaking of dogs, we did an episode on dogs. You should check that out. Up there. You do that still? I don't know. People could do that. They'd have a little thing pop up. Yeah. Anyways. So yeah, I think uh, I think Sweet Earth would be fun to put on a veggie bake, a, a BLT, BLT or bacon burger. And BLT is pretty much already there. I think we should do a veggie bacon. burger, bacon cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. But I think we got that a little more crispy. I think we might have to revisit the rice paper recipe. That could be something too. Try and eliminate that soy sauce because that's the cool part too about making it at home. As you can, if you want more liquid smoke, you can do it. If you want more of a brown sugar, you can do it. If you want to add sage and hickory, go for it. World's your oyster. I'd definitely check out the Veggie Edge, though. Definitely check it out. VeggieEdge.com. Link in the description. All right. Oh, don't forget. Now, the big question is, are you choosing this to save the animal, or are you chasing this to be... Because I really don't think that these options are healthier than. Now, if you take a deep look in the camera, look at us. <laughs> you know we're not worried about healthy. <laughs> we're a little on the fluffy side. But that is a great question because, I mean, Light Life alone has 17 ingredients. Morning Star has 33 ingredients. But not the Sweet Earth has 21, and our rice paper one, which we made ourselves, so we could eliminate or add ingredients, but it had 11 for the one we used. And how many ingredients in pork belly bacon? Pork belly bacon. So it is true. I mean, is it? Is it? I mean, I guess it's a choice. If you're trying to save all the pigs in the world, I think we have plenty. But... I am a little domesticated. I know grocery store down the street has bacon for me anytime I need it. True. I mean, it's just, I guess it's a life choice more than, I mean, and if it is your life choice and you want to eat all these different, you know, chemicals and whatnot, it's your, your choice. I choose regular bacon myself. Definitely. How about you? You go regular bacon too? Regular bacon. So we're saying <laughs> sweet earth for a cheeseburger. We're going to hopefully revisit the rice paper recipe. I think those two can fly south for a winter. Sorry, Leonard. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Quality Control, and we'll see you next time.